coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucian residents and tourists alike got a taste of nostalgia in communities around the island as they celebrated Creole Day 2019. The celebration featured a mix of Creole food, music, games and folklore that represents St. Lucia's unique heritage of Caribbean, African and European cultures. Minister in the Ministry of Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries with responsibility for Culture and Creative Industries, Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose, deemed June Quayle 2019 a success. Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose commended the organizing bodies for their efforts in ensuring the success of June Quayle 2019. Creole Day was celebrated on Sunday, October 27, 2019. The St. Lucia Hospitality and Tourism Association's Tourism Enhancement Fund successfully facilitated a workshop on tourism safety and security for over 200 persons last week. The workshop, led by international safety and security expert Dr. Peter Tallow, was attended by a large cross-section of hospitality and security professionals. Held from the 22nd to the 25th of October, the four one-day sessions in Castries and Soufre included representatives from the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the Port and City Police, as well as members of the Immigration Department. Also in attendance were beach vendors, jet ski operators, taxi drivers, vendors from Castries, Grosile and Soufre, and a number of local tour guides. Dr. Peter Tallow is a world-renowned speaker and expert specializing in areas such as the impact of crime and terrorism on the tourism industry, event and tourism risk management, and economic development. This is his third visit to the island. Dr. Tallow has been working closely with the association over the last year to advance safety and security efforts in the local tourism industry, including the development of a national tourism security plan being birthed in conjunction with the government of St. Lucia. The Department of External Affairs has donated a cheque of 30,000 EC dollars to the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The donations were made in support of the Marine Unit, with funding raised at a gala dinner held in Martinique on December 13, 2018. The Minister of External Affairs, Hon. Sarah Flood Bobre, commended the Councillor General and staff in Martinique for ensuring the success of the initiative. Deputy Commissioner of Police Milton Daisy expressed gratitude on behalf of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force for the donation towards the Marine Unit. The check presentation took place on Wednesday, October 30, 2019. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.